Hello, Peter Newman with you on behalf of Weed Smart. Now we're faced with a very dry season here in Western Australia and South Australia and other parts of the country as well. And that presents some weed challenges for us, which we are trying to address. Now, part of what happens in a dry season, one is we get stressed weeds and so we can get survivors to our herbicides. And also what can happen is farmers can staple that checkbook shut and stop spending money on herbicides and on all sorts of things, but some crops won't be sprayed at all, or some crops may be sprayed with a low cost alternative that won't give the greatest weed control. Now I had a farmer comment to me the other day in the 2006 drought here in near Geraldton, he let some wild radish set seed and he's still battling that population today more than 10 years later. And so what can we do to avoid that sort of thing happening? Keeping in mind we're looking at very low cost and we're looking at very low residue. Well, what I think a great option perhaps is to adopt the Harvest Weed Seed Control tool chaff lining. So let's have a look at what it is first. Uh, what chaff lining is, is just attaching a chute to the main sieve of the rear of the harvester and just putting just the chaff in a narrow chaff line uh, behind the header. Now the idea is that we put that in the same place every year for a number of years. Now we don't have to be full CTF, but we do have to have the header running on the same tracks. Uh, if we have a look at how it sort of works in the header, if this is the cross section of the back of the harvester where we have the rotor here with the straw traveling through the rotor, the straw still travels through the rotor and is chopped and spread as normal. So we are retaining most of our residue. But the chaff, what we do is our chaff travels along the sieve, often a baffle is inserted here to keep the chaff below that uh, baffle and out of the straw stream. So the chaff goes down into a chute that's made uh, to make a chaff line. Now these shoots are often just made by farmers, they're always made by farmers at very low cost, sometimes just cutting up an IBC, attaching it. One farmer told me he, he attached his IBC to the sieve so it was shaking so it wouldn't block. There's quite a few designs out there, we'll tell you where to find them in a moment, but essentially can be made by farmers at extremely low cost and get into this very low cost harvest weed seed control tool to deal with some of those surviving weeds that we may have at harvest in this dry season. So what are some of the benefits? Well, as I said, very low cost and it's do it yourself. It's something that you can do yourself without having to go and buy an extra piece of machinery. There's no burning. So we've got a dry year going on. We're going to have low biomass crops likely. Uh, we don't want to burn half the stubble in a narrow windrow burn. For example, we want to retain as much residue as possible. So it's no burning. We do lose about 15% of the residue into the chaff line. That We know that from previous measurements about chaff carts. So we know that we are losing some of the residue, but the big residue, the, the straw, is chopped and spread. Now you don't need to be a full control traffic farmer. Yeah, sure, if you are, all well and good. But this scares some people off. They say, I'm not full CTF, therefore I can't do it. Well, you can, but you just have to decide where that harvester is going to go for a few years in a row. Now, controlled traffic farming is often, the width of it is often governed by how far we can spread residue. The front of the harvester is often one of the main things that determines what our multiples of widths are. So if you already have an 11 or 12 metre header front, or even a nine metre, it doesn't really matter. As long as you put it in the same place for a few years, it can still work for you. There is another option as well. So once we've made these chaff lines this year, we've put all of our weed seeds or a lot of our weed seeds into that chaff line. In the future, in another year or two, we could put a narrow windrow back on that chaff line, for example, from a canola crop or from a lupin crop and burn that windrow and, dis and remove all of that chaff and those weed seeds that we've put there. So this can be another really good cheap way of setting the seed bank back to just about zero. You might be wondering what happens to all of the weed seeds that we leave in this chaff line. What happens to all of those weeds? Well, we don't really have much science on it to be perfectly honest. What growers are observing is, is when they put them in the chaff line and keep putting more and more chaff on top of each other year after year, it builds up and they are seeing some rotting of the weed seeds. We don't know what percentage, but the growers are observing that it's that moist environment. There's a lot of chaff, there's a lot of biological activity and weed seeds sometimes germinate in the chaff and then die before their roots even hit the soil surface. So we know that we're getting some uh, decay of weed seeds in that chaff line. We don't know exactly how much. 
As I said earlier, the other option is you can potentially put a narrow windrow back on the same spot in the future and burn it and remove the weed seeds that way. And also some growers are setting up their boom spray when they're spraying in the future that the nozzles are bigger over the chaff line and higher dose of herbicide is going on that part of the crop. So look, you've got to ask yourself the question, in the future, would you rather spread your weed seeds out this harvest and have them compete with your whole crop or would you sooner have them in a narrow chaff row, get some rotting, apply higher doses of herbicide to them and have them compete with each other rather than compete with your whole crop? It's not going to be for everyone, it's entirely up to you, but look, it does sort of explain a little bit what we're on about here. It seems a bit odd to create these high strips of, of high weed burdens, but because we're seeing lots of rotting, often these chaff lines are very, very clean. So. That's chaff lining. I really think it could be a good low cost tool for farmers to adopt in this dry year. How do you find out about it? Well, if you're not already on Twitter, I suggest now might be the time for you to get on there and find out about this. We've made a hashtag called chaff line and you can follow WeedSmart at WeedSmartAU on Twitter and we will put you in touch with growers who are already using this practice and have already modified their own harvesters to go chaff lining. Look, this is just one option that we're going to have in this dry year, but in terms of a potential low cost harvest weed seed control option, it could be a really good one in these challenging times. So get onto Twitter and take a look at the WeedSmart website and we'll have some information there for you.